Hi guys, I know a few of you are already zooming ahead in my stat lab and that's great uh, getting ahead and moving ahead. But I, I uh, wanted to take a minute just to show you a few more things about StatCrunch. And you can solve these using Excel as well and I, I think you can solve it using your TI. But this is a case where you're asked to give the five number summary and draw a box and whisker plot. And you can do this uh, very easily in StatCrunch. Here we've got our raw data, and we've got this little icon there which says copy to a table. Click on that. You can open in StatCrunch. You can copy it to your clipboard in case you've got some other stats program you're using, or you can open in Excel. I'm going to open in StatCrunch. And we have uh, our data in this column variable one now the first thing i want to do is let's just look we just need to know the range the min max and then the uh this is the five number summary so we can get that by going to stat summary stats by columns selecting double clicking on var one or variable one to get that data selected and we can go down through here and there's our min hold down the shift key our max our q1 let me go down a little bit more q3 just the heck of it i'm going to go to the iqr well, it won't let me skip. I gotta go. Hold, let's see if I. There we go. Hold on the uh, control key. I can skip around. And I'm gonna get the mode. Did I miss the medium? Uh, I just unselected there. IQR. Q3. One max min. Where did, there's the median. And uh, let's just get the range for the heck of it. There we go. That's all we need, I think. Click on Compute, and now we have our data. There's our mode, which it didn't ask for, but we've got it. We've got our interquartile range of 3, which if you uh, subtract Q1 and Q3, you'll see that's 3. We've got Q3 of 8.5, Q1 of 5.5. We've got our median, which is Q2 of 7. And we've got our max and min of 9 and 2. So that's a very quick way to get the uh, data you need for answering part A. To get to part B, let's go to graph box plot. And again, we're going to double click to select the data in that variable one column. And I'm going to have it draw our boxes horizontally since our options are horizontally. And we really don't need to uh, have the percenter count anywhere. Um, I'm just going to click on Compute. And we get our, our box plot. And you can see that our min here is at 2. And we've got, looks like, 5.5, .5, uh, which is our Q1, if you remember, our medium. And then our max is over here uh, about 9. So um, if we look at the various options there, the one that looks most like it is, of course, A. And you can check that out if you, if you want. So that's really how you can, can solve uh, this question pretty doggone quickly.